An hours-long standoff in Westmoreland County is finally over tonight. Police ended it after they discovered the alleged gunman was dead. But this was certainly a scare for those in the neighborhood. We have team coverage on this tonight. Brenda Waters with more from witnesses who saw the shots being fired. But first, Ross Gadotti and the latest on the suspect. Ross. Yeah, it was frightening and a tense filled day here in Youngwood as people in and around the area where this man was holed up behind the house you see in the house you see behind me waited to hear when it was going to end, how it was going to end. And when it did come to a conclusion, the man police wanted to try to get out of this home safely had taken his own life. It began shortly after eight this morning with a series of gunshots ringing out in Youngwood. At 404 South 4th Street in Youngwood, uh, an individual by the name of David Joseph Havernack, we believe, walked out of his residence and fired several rounds, striking cars and some houses. Within minutes, state police descended on the town, cutting off roads in and out, including the very busy 119, the home of the suspect, immediately surrounded. We've been trying to, to make contact through uh, using family members, obviously, if we can do that, which we're working on, and also by using our audible systems to, to try and penetrate into the house with, with voices and, and using our, our negotiators to try and talk to this individual. State police shot flashbang grenades and tear gas into the structure, waiting for some type of response. And then, about 2.30 in the afternoon, it became apparent the standoff was over. Uh, unfortunately, we were able to get video cameras inside the house, and upon examination from those cameras, we were able to find that uh, it would appear that there was a person that was deceased in the house. Uh, we made entry, and... Sure enough, unfortunately, uh, it appears that the individual that started this incident um, it is deceased now from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. All right, Havernack's body has been removed from the house. When police went inside, they also found a dog in the basement. The animal was unharmed. Now, Havernack has had issues with the police in the past. He was arrested a few years ago with criminal attempt at homicide, shooting into a structure and propelling missiles into vehicles. He was also charged with aggravated assault. But what prompted him to step onto that porch this morning and open fire? We may never know. Live in Youngwood, Ross Gadotti, KDK TV News.